What up, Melvin7 here, marquee matchups are out as uh, yeah, kind of expected, 6pm, and they're probably the easiest ones that have ever been released. Um, the rewards aren't as good because you're putting in so little, which is fair enough, I suppose. Uh, the first one, Hearts or Aberdeen player, you only need one. You need seven nationalities now. In the Scottish League, there's an abundance of bronze players with obscure nationalities. I've used this left mid, he probably doesn't go for a lot. Uh, okay, maybe he does. I was gonna... No, he doesn't. Like, maybe initially he will, but then they'll start flooding back onto the market. I've got a couple of untradeables. Like, just just snipe some players, really. Like, I mean, I could show you each individual player, but some of them are going to be more expensive than others, of course. Uh, so, yeah, that's just what I'm going to trade in. It's really, really easy. You need 90 chemistry. I mean, you don't even have to go with SPL. I just have for the ease of use, but you could just get a hot striker and then fill in the rest of it with, well, League 1 and League 2 already used. So, any league, like, it doesn't really matter. MLS, bronzes, like, they go for nothing. So, yeah, this one, however, you do need 11 SPL players. You need at least one Rangers player, at least one Celtic player, which is quite easy because they're the dominant... Um, higher rated players in this league anyway so I've got way too many of these players now I'm going to try and take out a couple of these players just to get the rating to as low as it possibly can be um, to try and you know preserve something uh, at least a few coins that I might be able to um, you know save myself uh, kind of I'm trying to remove like the, the Rangers or the Celtic players like the Silvers but yeah, they seem to be all right. Like I'm happy giving that in. Like, can yeah, we've got a couple of uh, bronzes in here. Can we put him in? Yeah, we can. It drops the chemistry, but you only need uh, 90 chemistry anyway. Um, that drops the chemistry too much. What about this guy? Can we put him in for him? No, that drops the rating. So I'll just leave it like that. Like I'm happy getting that in. Of course, we've got a couple of Celtic players. Actually, actually, actually. Um, just in case they actually go for anything. Um, oh, that drops the rating anyway. I'm not too bothered, but may maybe put him in instead. No. All right, I'm really not too bothered anyway, but uh, that's the team that we're going to submit. I'm making this way harder than it should be for a two rare gold players pack, which, of course, is just two rare players in the pack. That's it. This one, exceptionally easy again. Uh, you need 11 League One players, one Bolton or Scunthorpe player, and, uh, yeah, these are the players that I've used. I mean, all of them are first owner, so it's cost me literally nothing. But you'll be able to get the majority of these for 200 coins. Maybe the Bolt and the Scunthorpe players are, like, a 1,000 coins. But you might be able to snipe them. Like, this marquee matchup is probably, in hindsight, is going to cost you, like, maybe the Scottish one is a little bit more. But, like, the Rangers Celtic one. But even that, like, you should be able to get all four done for about 15k absolutely max. Like, Luton... Or Barnet players, you only need one again. Uh, 11 League 2 players this time. So, yeah, I've got an abundance of these in my club. Again, they're all first owner. Exceptionally easy. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to submit that for a silver players pack. <coughs> Sorry about that. And uh, we get a 25k pack for completing the overall set. So, <coughs> as I say, the... Uh, the rewards aren't good as previously, um, previous weeks, like in terms of pack value, but uh, you get a lot of silver packs there, and they can be really, really good, right? I'm not even going to watch that. These packs are probably the worst on offer. Um, <coughs> we actually do get a rare gold, and uh, we get a... Oh, no, we don't. I thought we did get a couple of players that might be useful. The Russian League one, actually, he might be a bit useful. Um... Yeah, it looks as though he sells for about a thousand, so we'll just list him about that. Uh, I think this Belgian Pro League player probably goes for a lot as well. Um, about a thousand as well, so we'll list him for 1,200 and just store the rest in the club and discard the rest. Um, move on to the silver packs. I suppose this is flooding silver players onto the market, which is EA's possible goal in this because of course the Russian League and the um, Eredivisie League ones are there uh, we've got a Russian League one actually so how much does he go for oh wow he's really not as much as I thought he'd be uh, 850 we've got an MLS player in there as well I can see a Turkish League player as well which I'll check the MLS players are weird man why are they still going for this amount like Surely most people have already got Giovinco. You know what? There was a couple for two and a half, but I don't know. I'll 
I'll see what that does, I suppose. See if he sells. If he sells, he does. If not, then oh well. Um, I've also got this guy. Does he go for anything? Oh, mm -hmm. No, he doesn't. That's a bit unfortunate. We'll list him for that. See if a lazy buyer gets him. Store the rest. Uh, I do apologise for this. I hate going through my packs, but... Um, yeah, needs must, I suppose. This is a silver players pack, so we could get a lot of players that are useful in this. Um, wow, we've been extremely lucky in that. I think we've missed all the major leagues there. Uh, we'll discard him. And we'll move on to the two-player pack. Oh, I thought it was going to be a walkout. That was a pause. Uh, 83 rated, is that? No, it's Zabaleta, I think. Yeah, 82. That's not bad in a two-player pack, to be fair. Uh, I've already got him, so I'll just send them to the trade pile. And we'll open the 25k pack. Can we get lucky? It's not a walkout. Could be an inform. It's not... That's an 83, is it? No. I can't differentiate 80s and 83 um, players. Like, I've opened so many packs and I still can't. It's ridiculous, but... Um, yeah, right, I'm going to keep that right mid because he's useful if they ever do the advanced SBCs again. Um, the Brazilian right mids usually sell for 10k. But uh, yeah, that's this week's Marky matchups. A little underwhelming, but I suppose they wanted to do a cheap one, which is fair enough. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.